Welcome to Module 4, Lesson 9. Today we will be learning how to analyze different rectangles and reason about their area. We are learning this so that we can use area models to apply properties of multiplication. We will use this math in real life situations. We will know that we are successful when we can reason about the area of a rectangle. Be sure to stay to the end of the video so that you can use what you learned in your Read, Draw, Write practice question. Let's get started. How many rows in the area model? Remember that rows are horizontal. So we'll count each row. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten rows. If each of these little squares is one centimeter, how many centimeters are in each row? there would be 10 square centimeters in each row. So there are 10 rows and there are 10 square centimeters in each row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So 10 rows with 10 in each row. Let's cut the area model into two equal parts. The side lengths of part one are 10 centimeters and five centimeters. The side lengths of part two are 10 centimeters and five centimeters. So the area of part one is 50 centimeters because 10 times five equals 50. And the area of part two is also 50 centimeters because 10 times five equals 50. So now we can find the total area of the area model by adding the area of part one plus the area of part two together to find the total area. The total area is 50 is 100 square centimeters because 50 plus 50 equals 10. Let's try this. We'll cut the area model into two parts that are not equal. Here we have part one with one, two, three rows, and part two with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows. So the side lengths of part one are 10 centimeters and three centimeters. And the side lengths of part two are 10 centimeters and seven centimeters. So we find the area of part one by multiplying three times 10 and the area of part two by multiplying seven times 10. We know that the area of part one is 30 centimeters because 10 times three equals 30. And the area of part two is 70 centimeters because 10 times seven equals 70. Now we can find the total area of the model by adding the area of part one and part two together. So we said that 10 times 3 equals 30, 
and 10 times 7 equals 70. So the total area would be 30 plus 70. The total area is 100 square centimeters because 30 plus 70 equals 100. Owen thinks that the total area of rectangles 1 and 2 together is 40 square units. Is he correct? Let's find the total area of the model by adding the area of part 1 and part 2 together to find the total area. So I see 1, 2, 3, 4 rows with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in each row. That's part 1. 4 times 5. And part two has one, two, three, four rows with one, two, three, four, five in each row. Five times four. Owen is correct. The total area is 40 square units because 20 plus 20 equals 40. Now it's time for your read, draw, write practice question. We're going to read the question together, and then you will make your drawing and write your, your sentences to answer the question on your own. When you're certain that you have the correct answer, you can look in the description box below and compare your answer to the correct answer. Rob pushes rectangle one and rectangle two together to make one big rectangle. What is the area of the big rectangle? Okay, go ahead and pause the video here and do your work. I'll see you in the next lesson.